Thank you. Uh, my name is Barry. Uh, this is a poem, basically, well, the, the concept behind it is basically uh, this lawyer who's, who's kind of thinks he is where he is, but he might not be. So I really like this sort of battle of the sexes. So when this lawyer has a case, not only does he have to master the case, but he has to master his very attractive and wealthy female client. So, you know, it's kind of like a layer within a layer. And I, I enjoy this modernistic theme of where women and men are very equal and sort of who's fooling who. Okay, there it goes. It's called the client interview. I led her to the table, pulling a chair out for her, noticing the nape of her neck framed by a single string of ivory pearls. She shuffles in the chair, her mind squirming to get comfortable. I walk to the other side of the table, my heart pounding in my ears. I sit, muttering. So, shall we start? She asks for an ashtray. I bring her one made of shredded flowers. So I've heard a lot about you, she says, blowing a black southeaster of tobacco over my forehead. I ponder on that sentence for a moment, my head clambering over the rocks in Clifton Forth Beach, hopefully out of sight from children and the metallic taste of sunscreen, me pulling her bikini bottom to the side. Don't believe everything they say, I reply. It could be far worse than you've been told. So there's this man, she says, who's stolen a lot of money from me. A deserted, wintry Queens Beach parking lot at 3 a.m. Her on her knees in a tarmac, halter necked, me clambering over the passenger seat, clumsily forgetting my seatbelt was still on. Was it a lot of money, I inquire? Stumping out the cigarette, shredding the shredded flowers even more. Don't ask me stupid questions. I'm a kid again, running on a summer field, away from my dad locked in his own psychosis. My brother's fighting in the back of the car. My mother puckering her lips only for herself, always only for herself in the sun visor mirror. Yes, of course, I reply. So she says, so are you gonna help me or not? I can see lion's head summon ahead. I'm looking at my watch, knowing I could make it in a record time for me. If only, if only my right knee was not about a conk in. Lady, I protest, I'm not sure I can get a bloodbath from a pebble, I sum up. I'll have the calamari, I tell the waiter. Her face wears a smoked salmon hued sadness, the endless upstream battle now becoming tedious. Me, probably the very last one of her local big game fishermen. Her face softens, pleading now, all the bile draining, a young, fresh faced teenage girl with a dandelion in her hair all soft, flucky, fluffy, chocolate mousse inside. I drain my glass of Dimmersdal Sauvignon Blanc wine, me thinking of absolutely nothing except the substantial fees I'm about to write. Yeah. Okay. It's only 11 o'clock, you're drinking gin already. I'm only walking. You're supposed to be the agent. You've got giant to, steps are you've got what you count. take. Giant steps are what you take walking on the moon. Or there's a moon over Bourbon Street, or the whole of the moon. This is the moon festival. Lucky I'm not doing a brown eye, because that's also a moon. So what are you doing standing around? Go back to the fucking tent. Get us some more cells. This isn't the way you do it, man. You've got to work. One more cell before 12. 